The building materials that we are interested in this study is the waste material that's generated either when you demolish a building or in the process of building itself all the broken bricks and the excavated material that may become available. The intention is to scientifically establish a process whereby you can assess the quality of the excavated material. Now this is not going to necessarily change the face of the planet but it will reduce the flow of resources like sand and aggregate. We find that very good material has been used at its lowest potential and part of our study is by using science is using getting the maximum use of some of this waste material which is in some instances was better than what you could have bought. If there is an increase of awareness around recycling. The way we think about buildings may change. So at the outset, you understand what waste you will be developing or creating, and then the designer responds to that by understanding the process. In this particular house, the opportunity was positive. The excavator material was of good quality. It was a sand with a small percentage of clay in it, and there was a lot of rock. Our researchers found that a certain percentage of clay is actually quite good and increases the strength of concrete. Recycling requires a lot of processing. It requires a lot of willing hands and feet. It forms part of a solution to enable people and include the unskilled and the unemployed in the economy. Our process turns convention around by mapping out the palette of materials, the local conditions, and looking at how our building process can be a lever for change, taking advantage of the local materials to reduce the carbon footprint, to reduce the resource footprint, and to design in a way that we can make a change. I'm Bernard Collis, architect and engineer. I hope that a closer understanding of this process will inspire creativity and a new way of thinking about how we build and relate to the planet.